hey guys, we're here in 91. And I'm talking about Trackmania. Now, for those of you who don't know what Trackmania is, it's a series of car games that goes way back. And it's, it's games that allow people not only to race on tracks, but allows them to also build their own tracks. But basically, Ubisoft has announced that Trackmania will be available for free, right? The base game. But if you want full access to the level editor, which is apparently a big part of the game, then you're going to have to pay 10 bucks a year. That's right, for one game. Now, 10 bucks a year isn't much at all. But if you want access to the premium benefits, it's going to be 30 bucks a year. Okay, well, here's the thing. I know that World of Warcraft still charges yearly, right? But World of Warcraft is an anomaly. It is very rare for people to actually subscribe to a game that's going to charge them yearly and still stay with that game for all this time. So I'm not sure going the World of Warcraft route is good here, but it gets stranger because in response, Ubisoft posted this message. Actually, it's not a subscription model, but an access to the game for a limited time. Okay, you pay for having access to the game for one period and that's it. When the timer is over, when the time is over, you have to buy the game again for the time that you want access to it again. Okay. I'm going to say this, a rose by any other name smells just as sweet and garbage by any other name smells just as stinky because that's all it is. What the Ubisoft representative wrote was just the description of what a subscription model is. You have access to something for a limited amount of time and then you have to pay again if you want to continue having access to it. That's a subscription model. Now, the managing director did clarify that it is subscription based. But here's the thing. I understand that because this is a type of game, kind of like World of Warcraft, that if you keep updating it and whatnot, this thing can go on for a long time, especially since this is one of those games where a lot of people build their own tracks, right? But let's compare it to Super Mario Maker. Imagine if Super Mario Maker was subscription based and imagine if it was serious multiplayer, like serious multiplayer tournaments online and everything and there were special events and everything, I could see people paying subscription for that game, but I don't think it would have sold nearly as much copies if it did. But is this the way to sell a game? Which one would make more money? I'm actually not sure here because, like I said, World of Warcraft is an anomaly, but who's to say that Trackmania won't be the next anomaly? I'm not saying that Ubisoft is approaching this the best way, because I don't think they are. But what I am saying is that with a game like this, where... It can last for years and years and years. Ubisoft may be able to make more money this way. And the thing is that y'all know who have been watching my channel for a while. I barely ever spend money on free-to-play games. I am quite content with whatever they give me <laughs> most of the time. So I may get this game and I may look at how it works and see whether it's unfair or not before making a final judgment call on whether Ubisoft is just money grabbing or whether this actually makes sense. But until then, what do you guys think about having to pay $10 a year for the full base game but then, or $30 a year for the club access to Trackmania? Do you guys think Ubisoft should have just made it like a $50 or $60 game and just called it a day? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.